MindMaster tutorial for beginners how to use MindMaster. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'll share my own experience of how can we use this platform to create different mind maps. With the help of mind maps, we can easily interact with our team, manage different tasks, share our ideas. So they have a lot of features and their interface is quite good. It's like modern. They have a lot of features here as you can see and in order to get started we can just simply create an account of course they have the paid plan we'll discover prices a little bit later but if you want to start you can just simply to try to use it for free probably you won't be able to use some additional features or some other things so let's click on create your first map and after you'll sign in with your gmail you've come to this page where we just simply need to customize our workspace for a little so depending on our answers uh like mindmaster will provide us the opportunity to choose something according to our choice so firstly how will you use mindmaster i'm going to answer for personal all home next the next question is basically that's all so now we have our workspace uh, with the help of these features we can interact with mindster mindmaster in the future so firstly in the left side we have these folders all maps where we can discover all maps we have shared with us created by us also like recent if we have a lot of maps we can discover our use history favorites we can mark some maps as a favorite to not lose them to make it easier to assess and public where we can just uh, simply uh, find all the public maps universe so you can click on browse and then we'll be able to interact as you can see we have like liked uh, we can discover them in different categories and probably we can even use it on some of paid plans. So also we have a trash, you know, that if you deleted something, you can find them right up here. So basically MindMaster provides us the opportunity to use a lot of templates pre-created. So if you are going to click on show all in the right top, now we can find a lot of templates divided into different categories like layout, business and goals, education notes, life, marketing, and so on. Let's say that I want to use some of the template just as an example. Let it be like the product launch. Of course, it's not that important to use it only for product launch, but at least we can now interact with all the features here. So they provide us the opportunity to have a quick tour, but I'll show you all the features now so if you want you can of course do that uh, in the left top we have this option where we can go back to our dashboard i'm going to click on to open it back uh, we can switch between a different uh, part of the maps so we can jump on it here also we can click on more what can we do here duplicate move somewhere manage versions if you have a backlog share it with somebody add some integrations publish it to the web and move it to the trash also we can export so we can print or export it in different formats so we have pdf jpeg as an image docs uh, powerpoint presentation and mind map formats as you can see if you want to like export in a formats which are really like common we need to upgrade our plan so also we can undo or redo some actions in the right side uh, top like banner here we can search for something undo redo share we can manage uh, team task and project uh, like securely and also we can brainstorm so also we can interact with our account here and then in the right side which is really important we can now interact with our map directly so we can add some uh, additional widgets if it's necessary we can add connections comments notes media attachment icons we can also manage all the style so we can for example click on the necessary icon here click on style and now we can interact with all the things so we can get the background shape border lines uh, 
manage the text uh, font style make it bold italic change the position so it could be really really helpful the next thing we can add a task if it's necessary connect to the master task mm, if uh, ready to turn your ideas and plans and tasks and project check out master task so really nice integration here and the layout so we can add the auto uh, align or mind map list chart so it means that we, we are going to add a new points here in a different way so we can choose it right here in my case i'm going to use the auto alignment and i definitely recommend you to start with this stuff here the next thing we can do is in the left side we can change between mind map and outline so to structureize to make it more visible sometimes it could be really helpful to visualize this stuff in this way let's go back to mind map so now we can also manage the presentation template so in the presentations we can switch between different things here to manage all the things so it could be really really helpful i'm going to close this stuff here the next thing we can zoom in and zoom out and interact with coming to the center of the map so that's all about interface and now it's only about your choice so definitely we need to share it firstly so share it with your friends with your teammates and uh, with whom would you like to interact with and after that you can plan any si every single project so as i already said we can just simply click add something uh, add some other things here uh, click on more and some connections media notes attachment icons and so on there are a lot of options and now it's on your own how would you like to interact with mindmaster this is a way of how to do this stuff the next thing uh, we need to manage is how to basically export and uh, interact with maps itself so if you're going to discover the paid plans we can now see that we have early subscription and a six monthly so if you're going to pay early we'll have pretty like decent prices pretty normal we have a three plan up to three mind maps unlimited map collaborators measure task integration a mass team integration and templates but if you'll use a personal plan which is like three and a half a month per user we get the unlimited mind maps up to two attachment per map pdf and image export which is pretty cool so this is the most common way of exporting maps mind map printing seven day version history and admin count so seven day version history could be really helpful if you want to restore something or find something you've deleted something like this on the pro version we have like powerpoint export which is quite good word export custom colors, unlimited version history, so that's okay. As for me, the best plan is definitely Pro, $5.5 per month, and I recommend you to use it on this plan. So this is a way of how to interact with Mindmaster. Hope this video helped you out. Leave a like, subscribe, goodbye.